Welcome to my All About series, where once again I spend 5 minutes or less rambling on about a chosen subject. Feel free to suggest a subject in the comments below. This one is all about mealworms. It doesn't matter if you run a chicken farm or if you're just feeding your pet gecko at home, mealworms are one of the animals you should know more about. The name can be confusing to most when you first encounter one. They are meals, but they're definitely not worms. They look like worms, act like worms, but due to international copyright, they're not worms. They're actually insects. Mealworms have been around since the late Jurassic Age as far as we know, and come under the order of Coleoptera in a dead language, or beetles in a well thought out language such as English. They belong to the genus Tenebrio which contains numerous species, but the one we all know and love from our plastic pet shop boxes is the Molitor. Just like your breakfast, the larvae start their life off as an egg that the female beetles deposit into the substrate after mating, and depending upon the temperature, it can take between one and three weeks before they hatch into tiny little mealworms. As they are insects, temperature plays an integral part of their life cycle and how quickly that plays out. During their larval stage, a mealworm can molt 8 to 10 times before it is ready to pupate, and during its last molt, it will seek out moisture heavy food sources such as vegetable matter. Under normal conditions, a mealworm will eat just about anything it can find dead insects, rotting leaves, fruit, vegetables, or even rotting wood and fungi. After their final molt, the mealworm starts to pupate. If it didn't take on board enough moisture during this time, then the pupae will dry out, turn brown and die. And before you dry out and shrivel up, I strongly suggest that you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next All About video. This period of their life cycle is again governed by the temperature. Higher temperature means they can metabolise faster and move on to the next stage of their life cycle more quickly. The Beetles the adult beetle emerges very pale and delicate, like a pothead leaving the house for more Cheetos. As the chitin hardens, the beetle will get darker until it is eventually black. The adults can live for up to a year in the right conditions, but the average is between 30 and 60 days. In this time, they will mate and lay eggs, and the cycle will repeat itself. In recent years, scientists have been looking at mealworms as an alternative source of protein for humans, in a futile attempt to save the planet, when the obvious solution is staring them in the face. We need less humans, not more mealworms. The nutritional value of a mealworm is rather low, and should be given to your pet as either a treat, or with other substantial offerings depending on the pet type. Breeding mealworms can be as simple as a plastic tub of oats, are as complicated as numerous trays for separate life stages. If you just want a steady supply of treats for your mantis, lizard, frog or fish, then a simple method is probably your best option. A medium sized storage tub with ventilation in the lid half filled with oats will probably do the trick. All you then need to do to start your culture is to purchase a box of mealworms from your local supplier and then throw them in and put them somewhere reasonably warm and dark. If you are going to use these worms for feeding your pets, then it is a good idea to feed them other items like fruit and veg, so that it retains some sort of nutritional value for the animal you're feeding. Avoid things such as citrus fruits and allium containing vegetables such as onions or garlic, or they get bad breath. As I have many mantis to feed, I have a much larger culture than most, and I also keep around 20 to 30 beetles as amusing pets in a small clear enclosure on my desk, as they are fun to watch when I'm thinking about the next video that I'm going to write. And that's all I have to say about mealworms at this time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>